Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how I put in my clip-in extensions from Foxy Locks and also how I curl my hair using my newbie wand. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, this isn't necessary if you're not going to be curling your extensions. And I also put down somewhere down here if you want to skip to where I actually put in my clip-in extensions so you can skip this part. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this pointed end of this comb. Uh, you could use anything. This is just my teasing comb that I'm going to be using later on. And I have a mirror right here just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to be parting my hair pretty much in half horizontally. And I'm using the little clips just to clip them out of the way for now. So we just have the bottom layer. And what I'm going to use first is this Sexy Hair, Hot Sexy Hair Support Me Spray and it's 450 degrees heat protection setting hairspray. So this was sent to me via Octoly by Sexy Hair to Use and I've been using it for a few days now and I love it. Pretty much what it does, it will protect your hair from the heat as well as hold in the curls so you have longer lasting curls, especially with extensions because you take them out so you want the curls to last as long as possible. And it smells really good as well. I'm just gonna spray it in my hair and just kind of brush it out so it's evenly applied. It feels kind of like a light hairspray mixed with a heat protection spray, so it's not heavy at all. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to be using my curler, and what I use is the Numi wand, the three-in-one, and I think this is, I'm not sure what size this is, this looks about an inch. So yeah, I think this is about an inch because they have three sizes, I'm using the middle size. And I'm also going to be using their glove. Please make sure you use the gloves when possible because wands get super, super hot and I've burned myself really bad using them before. And especially the Numi one, it gets super hot. I'm using this currently at 360 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to start. So all of my curls are going to be going back. You can do them going front and back if you want, depending on what look you're going for. I'm going to be taking about inch size sections and I'm going to be careful that I'm not burning any of my face. I'm keeping a little bit of the ends out and I'm going to be curling them for about 20 seconds. You don't want to curl them for too long because you don't want your hair to break off, especially me since I have bleach hair. And I'm just going to let it go, hold it for a second, and then let it fall. So now you have a really pretty curl. So I'm just going to speed up the process a little bit and speed up the video and do the rest. Now that we have the bottom layer curled, I'm just going to push everything back and I'm going to take all the hair that I put up with the clips down and start to curl those. Okay, so I'm also going to speed up this process as well. I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing that I did from the bottom to the top. Now that all of your natural hair is curled, I'm just going to be using a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to be combing through all of the curls just so they're less defined and more PC. You can also use your fingers for this part. I just like using a brush and then I just go in with my fingers afterwards. So this is pretty much what my hair looks like afterwards. So now we're going to get into applying and clipping in the hair extensions. So first off, my hair extensions are the Seamless line from Foxy Locks. And they are the 24 inch luxurious set. And they're in the color Platinum Blonde, but I tone them just so they match my silver hair. These are 
pretty much the lightest extensions that I've found on the market. And I also like their clear band that they have at the top, which makes them just lay super flat to your head. This part, I like to put in the middle of the back of my head. I try to turn around to show you guys, but it's gonna be a little hard. So let's just try this. So pretty much what I do is I take this comb and I'll kind of just separate the bottom part and clip it up. And then I'll take the extensions and I'll clip the back first, the middle, and then the two sides. I make sure they're secure and then I pull down the clip and kind of just make sure they're not attached to any other hairs. And I just kind of kind of blend them in through the back a little bit. My favorite brush to brush through my extensions is the wet brush, just cause it doesn't take out a lot of hair and it doesn't pull on the extensions. So that's a good choice if you're looking for a brush for your extensions. And then for this longer piece, I like to put it in a mix of the back and the front. I just feel like it blends better instead of just putting them in the front like separate ones in the front and separate ones in the back. I like to kind of mix them up a little bit. So right here, I just put, I just put them like I did the first. And then I pull my hair down just a little bit. Okay. And then I put them down and I blend them out with my fingers. The next one I'm going to put on the other side, just a little bit above that last extension track and again separating the hair and clipping it up and then for the last piece for the back this one i'm just going to put on the top in the middle this is pretty much what i got just from using the back pieces this is a lot of hair that comes with this set well now i'm going to start on the sides and these extensions, I've already curled them before, but I'm gonna curl them again just for the sake of the video. These pieces that I put in the side, I like to have the side of my hair a little bit more voluminous because my hair is pretty straight and flat. What I like to do is take this little piece and about like near the root, I like to take this Sam Villa texturizing iron and I like to kind of press it down on the root which will kind of, you can't really tell, but it kind of gives it a little bit of a texture and it'll make it easier for me to tease my hair. So what this does is just adds a little bit of volume in between the extensions and it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm gonna brush it down once that sets. And now I'm going to brush it out a little bit just so it's not so fluffy and it smooths it a little bit. I'm gonna take this two clip piece and I'm going to put this in the front and then on this side I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to brush the hair down a little bit I'm going to put this extension right over it the teasing also helps your extensions to stay in place even though these extensions do stay in place very well it just helps a little bit more it has something better to kind of clip to instead of just clean, flat hair. So as you can see, the side has a little bit more volume. And now I just have two one-clip pieces left, so I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna brush this part out. And that's pretty much what I do, and then I just tease, I tease the rest of my hair to hide the top layer of extensions and to also give my hair a little bit more volume. I'm just going to go in a little bit more. When my hair is wavy, I like it really voluminous because I like that big curl look. Now I'm just going to brush out the tees so it's not like crazy seam girl era hair. Alright, so this is pretty much what my hair looks like once the extensions are in. The waves aren't that bad in my hair, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I curl it anyway. So again, I'm gonna use the Hot Sexy Hair, and I'm gonna spray it in my hair. I'm gonna show you on a few pieces of hair, maybe on this side. 
when I curl the pieces, I'm going to be curling them in blend in sections as well using the Numi wand. And I'm also going to be leaving about an inch out of the curling iron just to kind of save the bottom of the extensions because I don't want to expose them to the heat. I'm going to take the wand and wrap it around and I'm going to leave out an inch. Wait about 20 seconds and then you can kind of hold it in your hand for a little bit until it cools down and then you can let it go. Pretty much I'm just holding it just to cool it down and this is the curl. Once you've curled all of your hair, we're going to use the wide tooth comb again. And you can use up your hands as well, but I just like using the comb, like I said. You're just kind of gonna comb it out so they're not so attached together. And then I'm also gonna go in with my fingers and just kind of fluff it out. Just kind of separate the hairs a little bit. So that's my tutorial. Hope you guys like it. If you want to see any more hair videos or makeup videos, just let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.